Thank you. So <clears throat> it's great honor for me to uh, to, to speak uh, before such a distinguished gathering. And uh, I think that uh, the question itself, uh, political consensus between parties uh, about uh, NATO, does it exist or not? It exists, it's strong, and it's unequivocal and unreversible. But uh, at the same time, we should say that yes, in the parliament there are some political not, uh, forces, maybe several people who expressed their different point of view, saying that uh, the policy of their, uh, their own policy and policy of their political parties are uh, more pro-Georgian than pro-Western or pro-NATO, as if um, our policy is uh, different. I would uh, be glad to repeat everything what uh, Chairman said, but anyway, it's not necessary, but it's quite uh, understandable for everybody what we are looking for what uh, our vision is, what we want for our uh, next generation and for our children and grandchildren. Security, prosperity, development, of course, and it's provided by NATO, uh, not by only by as an organization, but by the countries who are the members, and uh, of course we distinguish uh, the values uh, of those countries, the rule of uh, living, the way of living, it's absolutely different from what we had uh, maybe 10, 20 years ago, but still I do not remember any government of Georgia who was against of those values or uh, that very policy. Moreover, when we want to insult each other, I mean, uh, us uh, as a Georgian dream uh, and uh, our opponents, uh, we are just accusing, accusing each other, saying that, okay, you are not uh, enough uh, pro-NATO political party. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes it is uh, yeah, it, it is not it, it is not taken uh, seriously by uh, society. But sometimes uh, we are just uh, thinking uh, about uh, those uh, deliberations to to use the proper words, proper sentences, to send proper messages to our. Uh, society and what messages we are sending once in a while fighting each other as political parties we are sending sometimes maybe wrong messages demanding demanding and saying that tomorrow yesterday no, no, not yesterday but tomorrow right now today we have to uh, insisting that we have to be uh, accepted as a NATO members and sometimes it is taken by our society in a different way. These demands sometimes are seeding those political parties who are staying outside of, uh, outside of uh, parliament, uh, but saying that, okay, you see, we are knocking the door, we are knocking the, uh, the door strongly, um, <clears throat> and we are all urging, but answer is no. This is not right, this is not correct. Uh, that's why the major directions our government has uh, providing, uh, providing uh, uh, the uh, security by talking uh, with Russians concerning the situation, concerning the economic issues, concerning the necessity to arrive to some common terms, maybe not today, but day after tomorrow on these occupied territories are essential and should be kept as our allies are uh, once in a while uh, just uh, sharing with us uh, their opinion and uh, supporting this uh, so-called, how, how is that, strategic patience. <laughs> strategic patience, maybe uh, necessity of that would go tomorrow because Russia is unexpectedly can do something which is, uh, which is absolutely, which can change the situation. Are we ready to defend ourselves? Yes, we are defend. Uh, we can do that if strongly supported and backed up uh, by our allies. Second issue is necessity to strengthen inst democratic institutions in the country. It's absolutely necessary to give clear um, evidence to our uh, people, to our um, a society that uh, pro-Western policy is for that. 
actually uh, the necessity of uh, having more uh, educated uh, society is not essential today maybe because uh, uh, society is already educated but uh, right messages are absolutely necessary in this case and third issue is uh, deepening cooperation between us and the NATO structures and not only structures but uh, single country uh, not only in uh, terms of uh, military the development of uh, military uh, abilities uh, but uh, in uh, every space to have a common understanding what the democracy is uh, to deepen and to widen our relations in um, agricultural uh, uh, sphere, in economics, in, uh, in different cultural, um, I would say, um, directions. So we need uh, our society to be uh, shown by, uh, from, our, uh, from the Western side as a pretty much developed and ready to be accepted as one as, uh, which can serve for the best interest of the development of the, not only uh, this region, but the, uh, the world itself. So more NATO in Georgia and more Georgia to NATO is very, I would say, essential uh, uh, statement which our prime minister had done.